are you guys doing today? It's me, Anthony Torado with AJTFX Learning. In today's video, we're actually going to do a complete overview of our Japanese candlesticks and dive into our engulfing candlesticks. So pretty much in today's video, we're going to go over both bearish and bullish engulfing candlesticks. And we're actually going to dive into the market as well and identify these as potential setups into seeing what happens once we could identify our engulfing candlesticks and see where the market will play out. But before we actually dive into that, make sure if you haven't done so already, connect with us, whether if it's on Instagram, Snapchat, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all of which can be done at AJTFX Learning. And make sure, guys, take advantage of these trading tips, signals, and markups that we definitely provide to help you guys take your trading to the next level. And for those individuals who haven't done so already, make sure to visit our website at AJTFXLearning.com for some great useful tips. So pretty much, when we're talking about engulfing candlesticks, there's obviously two different types of engulfing candlesticks that we're going to review. We're going to review our bearish candlestick and our bullish engulfing candlestick. So the first one that we're actually going to dive into is our bearish engulfing candlestick. So ideally, when you identify a bearish engulfing candlestick in the market, you're looking to sell the market. So you're hoping now that the bears are going to take control and push that market down as you enter the market in a selling position. So the description of a bearish engulfing candlestick is something like the pattern is best found at the highest point of an uptrending market. So ideally, we're going to look at the top of an uptrending market. We're going to identify a bearish, a bearish engulfing candlestick, and we're going to look to sell. The pattern indicates a reversal to the selling side. Your bearish momentum candle engulfs the previous candle, and it's going to show us a strong decision now to the downside. So if we actually look in the market, it's going to look something like this. Where you can identify that the white candle is actually taking over the black candle. So our bearish candle is now taking over our bullish candle, giving us that bearish engulfing candlestick. So now, as we identify our bullish candlestick, engulfing candlestick, we're actually looking to buy the market. So once we identify our bullish engulfing candlestick, ideally you're going to see that it's found at the lowest point of a downtrending market. So all the way at the bottom, once we identify our bullish engulfing candlestick, we're going to look to buy the market, and the pattern is going to indicate a reversal to the buying side. So now our bulls are going to take over, pushing the market to the upside. So the bullish momentum candle is going to engulf the previous candle and it's going to show a strong decision now to the upside where we placed our bid to go up. So an example of how a bullish engulfing candlestick looks is something like this. Where you see that the black candlestick is actually taking over the white candlestick and shows a great decision that the market is now getting ready to push to the upside. So what we're going to do is let's actually dive into our MetaTrader 4 platform and identify some bearish and bullish engulfing candlesticks in the market and see how it plays out. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're actually utilizing our basic template within our FX tool suite in our back office. But for those individuals who aren't in AJTFX learning just yet, what you can do is you could actually review our customizing MT4 chart and you could actually design one similar to that. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to identify bearish and bullish engulfing candlesticks. So the first one we're actually going to identify is bearish engulfing candlesticks. And as you already know, when we went back and we reviewed our material with bearish engulfing candlesticks, we're actually looking to sell the market. And in the description, it mentioned that to identify a bearish engulfing candlestick, we're looking to find it at the top of an uptrending market. So as you can see, we're actually on US CAD, the one hour chart. When we're identifying our candlesticks, I like to actually identify them anywhere from the H1 down to the five minute, just because those are pretty much our smaller time frames compared to our bigger time frames, which would then give us the move that we're looking for or anticipating. So ideally, this bearish engulfing candlestick, as you already know, we could actually zoom in. Our black candlesticks are, are bullish and the white are bearish. So the white candlesticks push the market down, the black push the market up. And for those individuals who don't know how to read Japanese candlesticks just yet, what I'll do is I'll make sure to 
have a video in the description box telling us exactly how to do so. So pretty much we're going to find, let's see if we can find some bearish engulfing candlesticks at the top of the at the top of the peak. This is a good example. So pretty much you see that this is an uptrending market. You see what? You have your bullish candlestick, but then you have your bearish that literally comes in and pushes the market all the way down, closing at the bottom of this candlestick and the whole structural area. Then what happens? The market comes down a little bit. So pretty much that was a small example. But um, what we could also do is let's see what else we could find. Awesome, beautiful. So pretty much look at this one right here. We see that the market is at the top of the uptrend right here. And then we have our bullish candlestick and our bearish candlestick comes in, pushes the market all the way down and closes all the way beneath this candlestick, that candlestick, that candlestick, and pretty much just the whole structural area. And then what happened? It consolidates a little bit, but then boom, pushes down to your downside. So obviously when we are looking into our bearish engulfing candlestick, we are looking to sell the market so we could have placed our bid after the structural break and then put our stop loss above this whole structure point right here, giving the market you know, a little flux to move before making that move to the downside. So let's see if we could actually now, on the contrary, find bullish engulfing candlesticks, which are actually looking to buy the market. Oh wow, that was so much easier. Look at this candlestick right here. As you already know, the black Japanese candlestick is the bullish, and that's pushing the market to the upside. So we have that the bullish engulfing candlestick is found at the bottom of a downtrending market, which you see happens right there. And as you can see, we have this market that reaches this level and can't push any harder down. And then you see that this bullish comes in, boom, explodes, pushes the market to the upside, closing above this whole structural area, where if anything, you could have had a pending offer right above this structure and boom, already came into profit, putting your stop loss under the structural point where you see the bullish engulfing. So then from there, what happens? The market comes and pushes to the upside for 224 pips, right? So that's how easy it can be by identifying your bullish, your bearish engulfing candlesticks and how you could actually get into the market and play into putting your stop loss and potential entries to see where the market will then move. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video in regards to engulfing candlesticks. If you guys already haven't, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video as we grow and educate more traders online. So I'll see you guys on the next one. This is me, Anthony Tirado, signing off.